I scare you? Well, anyways, today we're going to be reading some spooky Halloween stories because it's almost Halloween. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get on with the video. I'm really excited. This first story is called Riding Home from the Party. 15-year-old Jacob went into the garage to retrieve his bike to ride to a Halloween party, but discovered the front tire was flat. Running late, he hopped on his sister's bicycle and pedaled toward his friend's house. He turned down the lonely side street skirting the woods that he and his friends used as a shortcut through town. He shrugged off the creepy feeling that someone was watching him. As he neared the darkest part, of the street and sped through as fast as he could. He arrived to the party and stayed until 10 p.m. On the way home, he considered not using the shortcut, but he needed to study for a math test and wanted to get home as fast as possible. He started down the narrow lane when he noticed someone was in the middle of the street. It must be some kid from the party taking the shortcut home. Jacob slowed down as he drew closer. The figure turned around, an ugly, twisted, gnarly face glowered at him. Jacob slammed on brakes, intent on turning around when a heavy chain rattled through the air. He turned just as the chain slammed into his head, wrapping around his neck. Got you! The wicked voice boomed as Jacob felt himself falling to the ground, the makerber being stood over him with blood dripping from his lips. Thought you'd never come this way, boy. Glad you decided to take the shortcut home. Jacob's sister bicycle was found in the middle of the side street. Drag marks were determined by the killer dragging Jacob's body off the road. The police discovered Jacob's body a drain of all blood only a few feet from the street. His killer was dubbed the va Halloween Vampire. To this day, no one travels down that side street, especially at night. Wow, that was one scary story. I don't want to go to that street. Time for story number two, Mossman and the Bully. One Halloween, a group of teenage boys decided to play a prank on the school bully. They invited him to a secret initiation into the society of the forest. The most popular high schoolers would be in attendance. They chose a spot where the ground was completely covered in moss. One of the boys dressed in a camouflage suit and hid in this thicket while the others dressed in black robes with hoods gathered around a makeshift altar underneath the tree canopy. The bully arrived and the ceremony began with an intelligible chance. The bully looked about and decided he'd been pumped. He shouted threats at the hawksers. Just then, the boy in hiding sprang up from the moss-covered ground and grabbed the bully, dragging him deep underground. The other boys assumed their friend had discovered a cave or underground opening. Laughing and cheering him on as the bully cried out in terror, their laughter broke off when the boy dressed in the ghillie suit came walking out of the forest. Confused, the boys turned into the direction where the moss man had dragged the bullies away. The boys screamed and stumbling over each other ran out of the woods. The bully was never seen again and the Halloween story of the moss man was born. Ooh, spooky. Are you guys scared yet? Well, time for one more story called Balloon Boy. Three middle school boys decided to roll the town witch's house. Rumored to be a witch, the woman lived on the outskirts of the small town and no one ever saw her. Her yard was overgrown and the house was in a state of disrepair. They waited until it was late at night and sneaked out of their houses and met at the edge of town where they walked to the witch's house. It was dark and cold. No light or warm could be seen inside or outside the house. The only thing resembling Halloween was an orange helium-filled balloon tied to the front door. With muffled giggles, the boys went to work tossing rolls of toilet paper up into the trees, overgrown shrubbery, and onto the roof of the house. They were nearly finished when a black cat mewed by the front door. 
Startled, the kids stopped like frozen statues. A puff of black smoke emerged from the house. Two of the boys sprinted across the yard, but the third one tripped and fell in front of the smoke and was quickly engulfed. Screaming and crying, he found himself lifted from the ground and being drawn toward the front door. He panicked. He cried out for his friends, but they were long gone. He sobbed for his mommy when he found himself inside the orange balloon. Struggling against the prison, he found his fists against the elastic walls. Happy Halloween, my mischievous imp, came the crackling voice as cat shape shifted into the witch. She reached up and untied the balloon. She stood laughing as the screaming boy drifted up higher and higher over the sleeping town, never to be seen again. The story of the balloon boy spread through town, but was considered an urban legend created to explain the mysterious disappearance of an unfortunate missing boy. So that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching and comment down below your favorite story. Mine was the third one. I really liked it. Anyways, bye!